Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we have created this customer service dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this customer service dashboard. This is the overview page of this dashboard. And on the top, we have given the navigation pen to jump into the another page of this dashboard. This is the currently we have opened the overview page. And here on the left hand side, we have the different slicer for the issue type, priority and the channel. So you can just uh, click anywhere to filter the dashboard uh, on the slicer. Accordingly, the uh, whole page will be filtered. Here we have on the right hand side some other slicers like region, customer sentiment and assigned agent. On the top we are showing the five different cards. First we are showing the number of tickets received, average satisfaction score, average resolution days, reopened cases, first contact resolutions. Here we are showing the number of tickets by the priority and we are showing the percentage also. This is the number of tickets by the issue type by so we have the different issue type like product billing technical account and the general inquiry then we are showing the reopened cases by the region we have taken the five different region that is east west north south and the central now to go to the another page you can simply click here and it will take you to the another page again we have the same slicers here but we are showing the average resolution days by the issue and this is average resolution days by the channel and this is the average resolution days by the region okay and in the customer satisfaction page we are showing the average satisfaction score so satisfaction score we have taken from 1 to 5 so accordingly you can see this is by the agent and we have created this beautiful star rating chart and here we are showing the average satisfaction score by the channel and this is the average satisfaction score now on the next page we are showing the agent performance so let me click here we are showing here number of tickets assigned to the different agents so you can see that and this is the reopened cases by assigned agent and this is the average resolution days by the assigned agent okay so you can see the name of the agents here and again you can filter the data using the slicers the next page is the issue type analysis and here we are showing the reopen cases by the issue type and this is the average satisfaction score by the issue type and first contact resolution percentage by the issue type okay so we have taken here five different issue type you can change the data as you want technical billing general inquiry account and product now I will show you the data also to see the data you can go to the file and options here just go to the advanced and scroll it down and just enable the seats so just check this so seat tab we can see the different seat tabs we have a support seat and we have a data seat also so let me go to the data seat first we have here ticket ID, this is customer name, then we have the issue type, priority, then we have channel, then we have region, assigned agent, created date, resolved date, then we have here satisfaction score, this is first contact resolution, we have put here 1 and 0, okay, in place of yes and no, and then we have put here response time in hours okay this is a reopened case if one is there that means that case was reopened this is a customer sentiment uh, like a customer has given the neutral positive or negative sentiment and then we have calculated here resolution days so resolved date minus created date and this is total ticket to do some calculation we have put here one now i will show you the support sheet also in the support seat we have created various pivot table the first pivot table we are taking number of tickets then here we are taking the uh, average uh, satisfaction score and the maximum score can be 5 similarly here we have taken the other pivot tables to create the charts or uh, the cards which we are creating on the overview page this is for the overview 
and then the next page is the resolution matrix so we have put here one vertical line vertical box here just to identify these all pivots are for the resolution matrix okay so using these pivots then we are creating the charts and uh, here we have created this star rating chart also and we have created on this customer satisfaction page also this is star rating chart so i will show you how you can create that if you want to learn in detail the various type of charts how we can create using the pivot table and how we can create this type of dashboard in microsoft excel you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video's description box so you can join and we are providing all the practice files inside the course now i will show you how we have created that star rating chart so we have created this pivot table and we have taken here max satisfaction score and what we have done here we just have added one calculated field so let me show you here we have added some calculated field so we have added this max satisfaction score which is 5 we just have taken here 5 and this is the average satisfaction score we just have taken the average of the satisfaction score by the assigned agent so let me show you that one also okay so we have taken these two now to create uh, this type of star rating chart what we have done we have just inserted a uh, bar chart so we have taken this 2d bar chart this one now click on the chart anywhere then go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just hide all and now you can just uh, select this legend from here and press delete you can add the chart title if you want and uncheck the grid lines from here we don't need this horizontal axis you can put here let's say this is average satisfaction score by assigned agent okay now we will adjust this chart first let's increase the height of this chart slightly and now just right click on this go to the format data series and take the gap width as 0 so we have here two bar one is blue and orange so blue is for the max uh, which is 5 and uh, this is for the actual average satisfaction score okay now let's go to the insert and we will insert a shape of that star so just go to the shapes scroll down we have here this shape star and banners just take this star five points just click here and just click here now let's go to the save format save fill and take here gray color let's say i'm taking this one and i don't want to take any shape outline so i'll say none no outline and now let's make a duplicate of this or make a copy of this so we have made a copy of this then go to the save format again and this time we will fill golden color so we can take this color all right so we have created these two shapes and now let's copy one shape the gray shape and we will select here that max part and paste Control b okay so that is appearing here now select the golden star and select this orange bar and paste Control b all right now right click here go to the format data series so we have selected the gray part first the max part and then we will go to the fill here picture or texture fill is already selected just scroll it down and you can see one option that is stack and scale width just select that so it is taking one automatically so you can see now our star are appearing properly now select this golden part also 
and similarly just click on this stack and scale width make sure here it should be 1 if it is not you can just enter that so now this star rating is also appearing properly again we can go to the format data series and here just change the series overlap 100% and make this slightly smaller now we can see our star rating is appearing properly we can select this right click and we can say add data label so data labels are appearing here so this is the 3.3 we can see and accordingly the star is filled okay so that is how we have created this chart here If you want to learn uh, more charts and uh, more uh, infographic chart like we have created here flag chart or some other kind of chart like progress bar chart we have created here you can join our Udemy course wherein we have explained each and everything in detail as well as we have explained how to create a dashboard in Microsoft Excel. That is how we have created this dashboard using the various chart. We have taken maximum column chart on the or the area chart or the bar chart. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.